Why is it Al Alvin Kamara? And it, it, it's him because of the high percentage of completions to him. You can just hand the ball off to him. It's little quick, easy throws, short throws. They're all going to Kamara. It's a lot easier for Breeze. There's so much going on with this offense, guys. I mean, so I mean, the last time they played November 8th, there are wide open receivers in the end zone, the scheme and all of that. But you got to start somewhere, and it's just the easy throws and easy completions to Alvin Kamara. Yeah, he wants head. to be aggressive because that's sort of the opposite of what they've tried so far this year. Drew Brees has six touchdowns, no interceptions against this team this year. In the last meeting, not week nine, he threw the ball. He spread it around to 11 different guys. That's even for Drew Brees. That's the best of his career. To me, Drew Brees has changed his style of play. I, 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 I equate him to kind of like Greg Maddox as he got older as the pitcher for the Atlanta Braves. It's all about ball placement. And I think that's what Drew Brees is doing best. But where he struggles with ball placement is when you get that pass rush. And so it's no surprise to me that Todd Bowles is like, you know what? We're coming after this guy. Like, we know how old this guy is. We know that we did a very poor job of affecting him pressure-wise last week. Hey, it's just put all our chips in. We're going for it this week. I actually sort of like the game plan, but I completely agree. Alvin Kamara, like, he's, he's enemy number one. Yep. I like the game plan, but I think it's going to be hard for them mainly because of how, what you just said, Matt, how Drew Brees spreads the ball to all of, his, all of his receivers. There's two guys that really stand out to me, knowing you're talking about Taysom Hill being out, A-Train Murray being out. You look at a guy like Deontay Harris, yeah. punt returner. Yeah. Last week, Ooh. being able to get him down there, get him in a mismatch on third down, but you but be able to see what he was able to do last week. Seven receptions last week. Seven targets last week. But whenever you, when you're able to put a punt return, kick returner in your offense, that means the defense has to be able to tackle very good in space. So with all that pressure that Todd Bowles is coming with for the past two games, Coach Sean Payton has something for it. So, and then there's another play that really stands out. Why do you think they brought a guy like Emmanuel Sanders? Very polished, as that mm -hmm. word you used at the beginning. Seasoned veteran, mm -hmm. Sam. So, you got a guy like Emmanuel Sanders. You got a guy like Deontay Harris going with the guys that they already have. And watch Cook <laughs> going up them hey, scenes. Randy, hey, I look how about Michael Thomas, Randy? Yeah. Like, no, who's yeah. going to cover him? But, but well, see, the, I, no, see, the thing about it is you're talking about A-Train Murray being out, Hill being out, so all the point of emphasis, who is it going to be on? Kamara, Michael Thomas. Right. But he also has other weapons, Matt. You're talking about how he's able to spread it out throughout uh, the mm -hmm. offense through the other guys. So Emmanuel Sanders, Deontay Harris, they have picked up some slack. I'm, I'm glad right, you Randy, Matt, mentioned Deontay Harris, though, because seven yes. catches yeah. on seven targets. And what happens in an offensive plan planning room, if you do well with what we gave you, we gave you <laughs> Seven opportunities. Yes. We're going to give you more opportunities. Yes. But like so, what Randy's saying, those guys right there, they're all man beaters. Like you say, Emmanuel Sanders, a man beater. Uh, Harris, a man, man beater. beater. Yes. And Michael Thomas, a man beater. So, so who are you going to take yes. away? Yeah, that's what I mean. I so, oh, it, it's so much for the defense like, to think about. And that's yeah. what I even see with that Buccaneer defense. It's like, man, their head's spinning sometimes. And now a reason why, too. The first question as a defensive unit for the Bucs, you got to worry about, which is rare, who's the quarterback? Okay, is it Breeze? Is it Hill when he comes in? Now that's out. Yes. Right. So that's going to help. That helps. That I don't have to worry about this whole package and where's Hill and where find him and is he quarterback or is Breeze quarterback? If that's out, it should be a lot easier mentally for the Buccaneers yeah. defense. Yeah, they obviously have a lot of options. You guys were just talking about that. But when you look at the numbers, it's not just the numbers for Hill, I know, but just the numbers. 472 rushing yards, 103 receiving yards. He's got nine touchdowns this year. We haven't even mentioned Latavius Murray's numbers. I think he had over 850 this season. It's a lot of production to replace, so obviously it'll be interesting to watch. Thank you for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.